Hi everyone, and welcome back to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Today is season 2, episode 15. I'm Big Frost. I hope you're having a great day. I'm super excited and scared because, you know, Angel has gone evil and so Buffy is rightfully so in grief. All of the things that mean being sad. Um, so it's not exactly going to be the nicest of episodes, that's for sure. Um... But I'm still happy about it. Hopefully we're gonna see some Oz and Willow because they progressed last time. They progressed. So I wanna see more of that. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of excited and scared and I wanna see it. So let's go. But before we go, um, it's totally random, has nothing to do with any of you, but I wanna share, so I'm gonna share. <laughs> we have like, I have a Switch to play games and the controllers would were broken like they would drift so like the character would like move on its own so m my father bought more they're pastel they're pastel colors i didn't know i wanted this until i have it i mean it's not my switch it's the family switch but you know what i mean so yeah <laughs> that was totally random but i just because i had, i just saw it like literally five minutes before i started to record so there you go um yeah if you guys like the video, don't be afraid to leave a like, comment what you think about it, love to read your comments so so much. Um, subscribe to see more and you can check out my you can check out my Patreon if you want to see more uncut reactions and you can check out the Buffy Reactors Discord, which is a Discord that with all the Buffy Reactors on there so you can get notifications when they upload and you have a load of Buffy. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go! Trophies! Oh yeah, it's the girl stuck in the... The mom stuck in the trophy. Hi. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> He's so cute. This cheerleading trophy. It's like its eyes follow you wherever you go. I like it. So did you like the movie last night? I don't know. Tiff, she is following you. Like popcorn. You know, you forget about them as soon as they're done. I do remember yeah, I the okay. popcorn They're both so socially awkward together oh, and I love it. I said I wanted more Oz and Willow oh. and it delivered! I have a friend. So I will go to her. I'll see you then. Later. Oh. Man. Oh, thank you, Thigh Master! <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, you suck. Fuck you. That? Dating a junior? Oh, let me guess. That little innocent schoolgirl thing is just uh, just an act, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's actually an evil mastermind. It's fun. I mean, she's got to be putting out. But what's the point? What are you going to do? Talk? Yeah, <laughs> dumbass. Come on, fess up. How far have you got? No, I don't want to be the only girl in school without a real boyfriend. Ouch. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be talking about... Do you want me to go away? I wish you wouldn't. How are you holding up anyway? I'm holding. I was going on two minutes there without thinking about Angel. Aww. There you go. <laughs> a lot better if you and Xander and I could do that sharing our misery thing tonight. Great. I'll give Xander Cordelia. And yeah, that's... He seeing her anyway. That's true. Um, I mean, at this point, well, he likes her. Um, does she like him? It's to be determined. Um, possibly seeing him. Excuse me? We didn't come here to talk about Willow. We came here to do things I can never tell my father about because he still thinks I'm a good girl. I just don't trust Oz with her. I mean, he's a senior. He's a trap. Okay, why? Oh my god. Why are you suddenly paying attention? And Thank you. Do you even want to be here? I'm not running away. Where in my daddy's car? It's just the two of us. So will you there stop blabbing about the big full moon outside tonight? It doesn't get more romantic than this. So shut up. Honestly, fair. If I was kissing someone and they just kept blabbing about other the girl he liked. Is that a werewolf? What the fuck? And the g girl he's rejected. I would also, I would actually be like, okay, fuck off, I can, you can blab to that to your friends, or other friends that you have. 
No. <laughs> okay, now I know I heard something. All right, that's it. You know, your mind hasn't been here all night. How about I just drop you off? <laughs> Is it actually a werewolf? That was great. That was great. That was so great. Told you I heard something. Where were you? Where were you guys? It's like it's never mind. Yeah, seems there are a number of other attacks. Oh well, at least it's not alone. Several animal carcasses were found mutilated. You mean like bunnies and stuff? No, don't tell me. Oh, don't worry. I mean, they might not look it, but bunnies can really take care of themselves. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I, um, They're so. Oh my God! I love them together. Weapons. I falls into that to switch column. Well, for now, but my guess is that this werewolf of the. Oh, right, I forgot it was a full moon. That makes so much sense. I should have guessed that earlier. Werewolves only prowl during a full moon might be erroneous. Or it could be a croc. And that's I mean, like, it's, it looks like a full moon. Maybe it's just not a full moon. Sorry, my parents came home, so I went to uh, greet them. Uh, but I just mean that, like, maybe it's just people thought it was the full moon because, you know, it looks like the full moon the day before and the day after, but it's not like it's just only the full moon or something. So that's where I am like where the legend could have come from. My books and I are in for a fascinating afternoon. <laughs> He's so excited. It's funny and not he needs to get a pet. Yeah, he really Sunny does. Dale is becoming more dangerous all the time. And a full moon like tonight tends to bring out the crazies, but with some simple basics of self defense, each of you can learn how to protect yourself. But if he's gonna kick what someone's ass would you look at that he's all over her Psst. hey buddy this is a public forum huge dog jumped out of the bushes and bit me 39 stitches they don't shoot those strays i've been there man my cousin jordy just got his grown-up teeth in it's not like to be tickled <laughs> <laughs> he's a werewolf isn't he are going to become one teresa be still my shorts. We're in the same group. <laughs> I may have to attack you. No, actually, I think uh, in our group, there are a few of us. And I'm one of the few. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, Summer, she were turning me on. <gasps> Ew! Deserved. That works, too. Deserved. He groped her. Well, there's absolutely no scientific explanation. Ew. The lunar effect on the human psyche. Oh my god. The the moon, uh, they were, are just not going to abort that? The what the fuck? And the fault acts on, on pure instinct. No conscience. Uh, predatory and, and aggressive. In other words, your typical male. On behalf of my gender, hey. <laughs> not jump to any conclusions. I didn't jump. I took a tiny step and their conclusions were... The point is that fair, a wolf fair. man could also be a, a wolf woman or, or anyone who was bitten by a werewolf. So then I'm guessing your standard silver bullets are in order here? No. No bullets. Why not? No matter who this werewolf is, it, it's still a human being who may be completely unaware of his or her condition. Yeah, that's true, though. Brittany Podell was making out with Owens to deal, but he goes with that <gasps> So she ever found... No, um, no, no sign of the werewolf. Uh, how about you? I wanted to know more about the tea! I thought we might. The tea! Uh, I thought we might knock on a few windows, uh, ask if anyone's seen anything yet. It's like yes. midnight. No one's seen anything. No. You're excited. Yes. Yeah, no, of, of, of course not. No. <laughs> yes. He's so excited for this. <laughs> oh, fuck. Boy, did she get caught in her own traps? Gotcha. The book gotcha. Oh, wait, he knows about girls? What the hell? Donald! Donald! Hey! Whoa. Whoa. Hands are good right about there. Who, who are you? What are you doing? Name's Kane. I'm the one with the gun. Gotta say, I'm impressed. Excuse me? Honestly, fair. It's good to get the fruit while it's fresh. It'd be wise to take that back. Hey, what a man and a girl doing lovers laying at night is nobody. Oh, okay, hey, enough repulsive brain. It's not what you think. We're hunting werewolves. 
<laughs> well, okay, why are you laughing? It's funny if you don't believe in werewolves. No, it's funny thinking about you two catching one. This guy looks like he's auditioning to be a librarian. <laughs> he's actually... You, well, you're a girl. Oh, and you're so sexist. You hurt werewolves for, for sport? No, no. I'm in it purely for the money. Oh, wow, you Doesn't suck. Does it bother you that a werewolf is a person 28 days out of the month? That's why I only hunt them the other three. I'd really love to stay and chat, but I'm on a tight schedule. Any idea where else the boys and girls like to get together around here? They're looking for a party? No, but the werewolf is. They're suckers for that whole sexual heat thing. Sense it miles away. Oh, seriously? Fuck. Girl, don't, I don't know how far your home is, but don't walk away home at night. You're in the Hellmouth as well, so like that should be automatic at this point. In your Everything okay? Yeah, I just uh, Fuck. I, I heard something behind me. Fuck. I guess I was wrong. I could have sworn that. It's okay. You can get pretty scary out here all alone at night. I love that for a second. I was like, oh, it's just Angel. I was like, fuck, it's Angel. <laughs> hey, don't I know you from somewhere? Don't you go to school with Buffy? Oh, you know Buffy? <laughs> yes, I do very well. Come on, I'll get you home. Okay, I should have guessed that he was going to be in this episode. Because I was like, maybe he's not in it? Because it's been 15 minutes? So I was like, maybe not? Do I smell something? Well, all a part of this little guy game. It's like he's there, but then he's not there. And yeah. He wants it, but then he doesn't want it. He's so busy looking around at everything he does. Right? He doesn't even realize what he does. Well, he should at least realize that you have Oz. Mm, I'm not sure I do. Oz and I are in... Sort of I love that they're like gaining a friendship. Without the holding or anything else. What's he waiting for? What's his problem? Oh, that's right, he's a guy. Yeah, no yeah. fair. Dumbass. <laughs> Vampire. Fair. Did you seriously shut the door? I mean, I know it's just civilian, so they didn't really... That gets so annoying. It gets tangled all the time. Like, it's cool and everything, and then you have more than five seconds and it's gone. She looks so fucking amazing. God. She's so freaking pretty. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, you have chains and everything. This is what happens when a woman tries to Oh fuck off, job. you bigoted you prick. Here, Mr. Kane. This girl risked her life trying to capture a beast that you haven't as yet been able to find. Uh-huh. Daddy's doing a great job carrying her bag of milk bones. You know, sis, if that thing out there harms anyone. It's going to be on your pretty little head. I hope you can live with that. I live with that every day. Who bled? Who was an idiot and bled? Oh, no, it's... Yeah, okay, never mind. It's the vamp. It's Angel. Why do you not have blood on your face? That's so weird. Okay, it's so clear that it's a mascot, which is hilarious. Like, the two main supernatural things. Oh no, you're gonna eat the corpse? Ew. I was about to say. We have another whole night. It's not like it's her fault, but actually, it kind of, it sort of is, because if she had killed Angel, then this would not have happened. Well, we never really know, but 
I mean, I'm not blaming her. <laughs> it's, just, it's just kind of ironic. I mean, when they're unaware of being a world, that sucks. Like, you can't really do anything about that. Okay, so who are you going to be? I'm guessing the rude prick guy. That would- I would actually mind if he dies. Or not. Who is this guy? Wait, it's Oz! Oz is a werewolf? Are they gonna kill Oz? Huh. <laughs> Seriously, dude! Hey, Maureen. Hey, it's me. Um, what? Oh, it's, uh... Actually, it's you guys have been talking about werewolf and you didn't make the link. Uh-huh. <laughs> he looks so unfazed. Well, no, no reason. Um, thanks. Uh, love to Uncle Ken. Okay, so he just realized. I kind of wanted him to be a bit... Okay, it's fine. It's just when it's like this, he has more reasons and ways to die. So that went like, no, please. Yeah, but I got someone. Teresa. God, as in. Oh, I'm sorry. And I could have stopped it. Well, we we have one more night. Another night. Oh yeah. Believe me, I'm gonna give that wolfie something to howl about. Mm. But while we hang here doing nothing, there's a I human mean, werewolf walking around out there, probably making fun of us. The way werewolves always do. Of course, it's their own it natural habit. Tell who it is. He's in front of you, dumbass. I'm a big bad wolf. I'm on the prowl. I'm sniffing. I'm snarling. I'm a slobbering predator. I'm. Wait a second. It's right in front of us. It's obvious who I am. I'm Larry. The guy has practically got. <laughs> I mean, of course, like I think he was about to tell them, but literally she says, "Oh, I should have killed the werewolves." Like, maybe not. <laughs> you got the. Are you okay? What? You kind of knew Teresa. Oh yeah, I. Uh, killed I'm Teresa. To think about it. It's. It's a lot. It is. But we can do stuff to help. Sometimes it feels good to help. Uh huh. Well, like looking up stuff. I'm gonna be doing that most of the night. You could help me help together. I can. I mean, I would say poor Willow, but well, poor Willow, but poor Oz. There might be two werewolves, to be honest, because he did get bitten by something. Paris. Jeez. Next time we're a bell. Why so jumpy, Larry? Geeks make me nervous. Is that really it or is there something you're hiding? This is kind of embarrassing. I can hide my fist in your face. I know your secret, big guy. I know what you've been doing at night. You know, Paris, that nosy little nose of yours is going to get you into trouble someday. Like today. Hurting me isn't gonna make this go away. People are still gonna find out. What are you? What do you think he's talking about? What do you want? I know what you're going through because I've is been he there. gay? That's why I know you should talk about it. Now that's easy for you to say. There's no thing. Nobody. I've got a reputation here. Larry, please, before someone else gets hurt. Look, if this gets out, it's over for me. I think he's gay. I mean, forget about playing football. They'll run me out of this town. I mean, come on. How are people going to look at me after they find out I'm gay? Yeah, it's fine. I. You don't really. Gay. You don't need to be. I heard you the first time. I can't believe it. it. It was almost easy. I never felt I could tell anyone. And then you. You of all people, you bring it out of me. It probably would have slipped out even if I wasn't here. No, no, because knowing you went through the same thing made it easier for me to admit it. The same thing. <laughs> it's ironic. 
I mean, no, I am not. You're a still groping woman. Boy. I don't really care. <laughs> don't worry. I wouldn't do that. Your secret's safe with me. <laughs> so what's the scuttlebutt? Anybody besides Larry fit our werewolf profile? Noticed you were looking solo. Yeah. Oz wanted to be someplace that was not here. Away from me. I'm sorry. Can't figure him this out. is just his being so realizing that he's a uh, werewolf. Sorry. Welcome to the mystery that is men. I think it goes something like they grow body hair, they lose all ability to tell you what they really want. Shit, to she's gonna do it tonight when he's the werewolf. That won't make me a slut. I think reputation will remain intact. Yeah. It used to be so much easier to tell if a boy liked you. He'd punch you on the arm and then run back to his friends. Those are the days. Hey. I'll see you guys later. Cordelia asked me to look over her history homework before class. I think that means I might have to do it. And that sucks. Wow, those two gal not bone your butt. Why do they have the right tricky things if they can just open it? Things that need defending. <laughs> Wow, so much vocabulary. She could have used my defending before she was ripped apart by that werewolf. Nowhere in any of the reports did it say anything about her being mauled. And they were linked to the animal attacks from the other night, so we just assumed werewolf. What else should we have assumed? Vampires. Vampire. So that's good, right? For you, people would be lined up five deep waiting to get themselves buried. Yeah. Willow would be Robbie the robot's love slave. I wouldn't even have a head. And Teresa's a vampire. Oh shit. That's right. I forgot. I, I, I genuinely forgot. Angel senses love. How did you. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that makes sense actually. He's gonna keep coming after me. Don't let him get to you. He's not the same guy you knew. Oh, please don't kiss. Please don't kiss. Okay, thanks you. Oh no, my life's not too complicated. I don't, I don't really, I don't, I would. After all that's happened with Xander and like, Angel, I mean, of course they're not going to get together like right now and stuff, but I don't really see them together anymore. Should you really be touching that? You put like hot metal in five seconds ago. Doesn't make sense. Is he home alone? Does he not have parents? Shit, it's Willow, isn't it? Don't respond. Pet, we'll talk about this now. I'm I glad that she's sometimes doing this. Sometimes what a girl makes has to be the first move, and now that I'm saying this, I'm starting to think that the written version sounded pretty good, but you know what I mean. I know, I know, it's me. I'm, I'm going through some changes. Can you just say- Welcome to the world. <laughs> Things happen. Don't you think I'm going through a lot? Not like me. Oh, what? So now you're special? You're a special boy. With chains and stuff? <sighs> Please don't kill him. I will seriously be very mad if they kill us. Damn. Oh, never mind. Not- <laughs> Okay, no, she did pretty good. Oh shit. Wait, it, is it the evil dude or is it Buffy? It's the evil dude. Fuck! Can you. She's so great at mastering her emotions because I would have been crying. I would actually not have gone to school and just be crying the entire fucking time. Ah shit. I love that he's just running. Of course you tripped. He's 
insisting on going after her? What's us? The werewolf. Can't you just trust me on this? He said he was going through all these changes, then he went through all these changes. Where is he now? In the woods. Go where? You're not gonna kill Oz? Yeah, he's a werewolf, but he doesn't mean to be. Don't worry, Willow, we're not gonna hurt him. You put enough fina babatol in this thing to sink a small elephant. Okay, cool. Nice. Um, just where do I know this actor from? Is he famous? He probably is. Don't do the thing that Miss Calendar did. Damn it. <laughs> Why do they always fall on top of each other? Okay, it's immediate. How about you let the door hit you in the ass on the way out of town? Yeah, fuck off. No, no, Buffy, the dude. How many outfits does she have? Is it gonna be okay? Is there a cure? It'll be a little sore in the morning, but it'll be ours. Is there a cure in this world for wolfism? You did. I, I owe you. What'd you do? It's really nothing we should be talking about, ever. I know, I know. It's, it's just, well, thanks. <laughs> this is kind of hilarious. What? It's not okay for one guy to like another guy just because he happened to be in the locker room with him when absolutely nothing happened and I thought I told you not to push. All I meant was that he didn't try to look up my skirt. Oh, oh, yeah, that's that's the weirdness. I think you just got every hint. Lately. All I'm saying is she's not safe with them. If it were up to me... Xander? It's not up to you. Thank you! Get out of other people's business! <laughs> Especially if you said no. Hey. hey. Did you want to go first? I spoke to Giles. He said, I'll be okay. I just have to lock myself up around the full moon. Only he used more words than that. And a globe. A globe? I'm sorry about how... Not be with well, you? you? know, like, I stayed out of your way for a while. I don't know. I'm kind of okay with you being in my way. You mean... You'd still... Well... I like you. You're nice. And you're funny. And you don't smoke. That helps. You know, I'm not much funny. <laughs> <laughs> you so, I'd still, if you'd still. They're so fucking cute. I'd, I'd very still. <laughs> no biting, though. Agreed. Oh, I should have wanted them to kiss, but it's fine. <gasps> Yay! A werewolf in love. <laughs> you can just say you're in love. Oh, that was adorable. Okay. I liked that episode. I liked it. Holy shit. Um, I feel like... The only thing I have to say, maybe, is that I feel like, um, maybe because just Buffy's in kind of a denial, I don't want to talk about Angel, and I feel like they didn't bring up, but it's probably just sort of be like, guys, I don't really want to talk about it, okay? Um, so it's like, push that away for now, and stuff. Um, I did not expect Oz to become a freaking werewolf. <laughs> it's like Buffy was with a vampire and now Willow is with a werewolf. It's like the two polar opposite. I mean, the two like iconic supernatural creatures. <laughs> and the two main girls have been dating them. <laughs> I find it hilarious. Um, I'm so glad you didn't kill off um, Oz because that would have sucked. I would have Loki had to like be like okay i will not watch buffy for a little bit because fuck you um 
but yeah, that was just a nice episode. I like that. Like I said in the q and I like those type of episodes because they're the types of episodes I grew up with. So it's just kind of like, yeah, I love those. Someone said it. I think it's episodic episode. If you're that person and you know what I mean and you can correct me. Uh, but yeah, I really liked it. <laughs> I'm so giddy about the kiss. Um, but yeah, and I'm glad... And, <sighs> God, Xander, <laughs> get your shit together, bro. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's like he's um, he's, but that's what what Buffy said really gives a picture. Is like he wants what he doesn't have, and that's what like he keeps doing because. Willow, he was never interested in Willow. He friends on Willow. He's with Cordelia, um, and. Willow was after him the entire time. And then one minute that she's off and she gains a relationship, which go for herself. Maybe a werewolf is not the thing I expected, but go for you anyways. Um, and then he's just like, ah, oh, he's not good enough for her. I would be good enough for her. No, you spent two seasons not wanting to be good enough for her. Shut up. And it's like, it's more infuriating than when he was doing that with Buffy because Buffy he liked her so it makes sense that he's jealous but for this he rejected her I mean maybe he didn't I mean he did friends on her like a lot and like he thought Cordelia anyways or like you know they're fuck buddies I guess I mean fuck buddies I don't know if they really fuck but like you know what I mean um I, f I would hope for that to develop for them oh shit Okay, you can't hear it. Um, I would hope for that to develop for them. Um, if Xander could get his head out of his ass for some time. I mean, I love Xander. He's funny. He's hilarious. He's smart sometimes. Um, but you, it's still really annoying every time. Um, and I mean, like, yeah. Your guy is kissing you. And he's, like, complaining about other women. I would also be, about, I mean, about anyone that y you could be romantically attracted with. It's just he's not, he's straight, from what I've seen. Um, so I was, like, I would be so, I'm like, I would, she actually has more patience or more libido. Because I would have just been, like, okay, if you're just gonna whine, can I, do you want to, like, kiss and make out? Do you want to whine? And if you do, don't whine to me like I, I mean okay maybe it's not really that mature um but it just you know it feels kind of like a bit weird it's like yeah. anyways um you have I, mean, I just mean that you would have to have like a s really really solid not like but like trust each other if like you're going to mind about other women that you previously liked or didn't like but now wants to be not good enough for I'm saying or where I'm going with this yeah Angel's a bitch but that's not surprising um he did say like oh the way to ruin her and kill her is to love her I mean this is obviously not loving her it's like I kind of like being like fuck you from far you know um Something is stuck in my th fucking throat. Okay. I would kind of have liked if Angel did not not actually remember what happened. Um, Because then maybe he wouldn't be after Buffy so much. But it would be kind of unrealistic. Because vampires remember their life and stuff before they died and became vampires. Which I think is a bit weird. But it's fun. Um, so yeah. It's not like... I think maybe Oz will become a problem later on. I'm s I just mean that like there's a high chance that someone is going to kill him when he's a vampire. Uh, and then there's going to be a tragic sad song and he's going to die and I'm going to cry. Um seriously, I I'm not going to look it up because that would be dumb, but I really want to. <laughs> like cuz Oz is not even if he's Willow's boyfriend, he's now, <laughs> um, he's not exactly, like, a regular, 
well, I think he's becoming regular now that we know that he knows about Supernatural and he is Supernatural. Um, but I don't know. So I, and in this show, they just kill people sometimes. So I, pff, I can't, I can't really know ever <laughs> that they're like, ah, this one is okay, you know? Ah, uh, so yeah. I'm super excited because I finished all my other shows except for One Piece. So I'm going to kind of be like watching a lot of Buffy. So that's cool. Uh, so yeah. The extra. <laughs> I actually forgot. Okay. Um, Larry Blaisdell. I did think he was familiar. He is best known as Ernie Ice in Hocus Pocus. Larry Blaisdell in Buffy and Brenna. Kendrick, where could I know him from? Bagby has also had featured appearance on television shows as CSI Crime Scene. Oh, maybe I know him from that. Cold Case, but maybe not. Malcolm in the Middle, Jag, Teenage Directed and Airborne. Bagby is also a musician. In 2005, he released his first album entitled Where I Stand, followed by his 2007 EP on the radio, which includes Counting My Lucky Stars. He joined on a TV episode of Cold Case. The rest performed and toured with W.S. Holland, Rodney Blake, Rodney Blake Powell, and Lisa Horngren of the Tennessee Three. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just we've seen him before on the thing. Wait, he's a guest star? Wait, he's a guest star? But he's been here before. Spotlight on. Okay, so they're not guest stars. Having done commercials as a child in his film debut came at the age of 10 with a role in the comedy drama film The Hotel New Hampshire and he went on to have supportive role. Okay, I can't see. I can't see, but... Uh, this is you have sporting roles in comedy films throughout the 1980s, including Radio Days and Big Business. During the 1990s and 2000s, Green began starring in comedy films such as Idle Hands, Rat Race Without a Paddle, and Be Cool. During this time, he became known for his portrayal of Scott Evil, Dr. Evil's Sons, the Austin Powers film series. Oh, wait, uh, maybe I think I know that. Green has. Also taken serious roles in films including the Attic Expeditions and Party Monster. Has provided the voice for How Howard the Dog in a number of Marvel Cinematic Universe films. Including Guardians of the Galaxy. What? That's awesome. In 2019, he wrote, directed, and starred in the comedy drama film Changeland. Green's first lead role on television was the ABC sitcom Good and Evil. <laughs> School of Good and Evil. 1991, for which he won a Young Artist Award, Green later gained attention for his work on Buffy and as, and as the voice of Chris Griffin. He's Chris Griffin on Family Guy. No way. For real. Additionally, he voiced Leonardo in the Nikon Teenage Ninja Turtles. And Joker in the Massive... Oh, he did a lot of stuff. Because a lot of... Because, no, I mean, the others also did, but it's a lot more stuff that I know. Gorkidis directs, writes, and produces Yettle in an animated comedy series Robot, Robot Chicken. Robot. Can't speak. And it's spin-offs which have earned three prim, primetime Emmy Awards and five Annie Awards. That's awesome! Also, sorry, my timer fell off. Cool, that's awesome. Phases. 7.9. Yeah. Guest. I didn't know he was a guest. Seth Green. Def Gown, just piece Theresa Klusmeyer. Starred by Angel and later Stick. Oh, she counts twice. Oh, it's kind of badass. <laughs> 80, we're at 89. Goddamn. Continuity. In the opening scene, Oswald Mark. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Oswald Mark on the moving eyes of the chilling trophy, reference to Amy's evil mother, who was a former cheerleader, was shot in the statue in Witch. This is the first time Xavier Six of Empire unaided. He probably staked his best friend Jesse McNally. Oh my god, yeah, that's traumatizing. But it was an accident aided by a panic patron of the bronze. Xander says to Oz, I know what it's like to crave these tastes of freshly killed meat. Yeah, from the pack. Yeah. Willow is running away from Oswulf through the woods. She falls over and her dungarees gets muddy and the instinct shows the monster on her shoulders repeatedly appears and disappears. <laughs> it's just like from 
like when they film before and after they film. Kane uses a Bunsen burner with the color closed cooler yellow flame to melt the silver for his bullets, even allowing for simulating time compression so that we imagine more time passes than we actually see him. Between him putting the crucible in the flame and pouring out the molten silver, raising that much silver to its melting point of 962 degrees Celsius. The small burner fuel by camping cats would have taken far too long for him to have sat there holding the little crustable on the stake that he uses, especially when you see just how many bullets he appears to have made in the session. They're all set out in the workbench. That's that's true, I didn't think about that. I was just thinking, like, how the fuck are you holding it? It's so hot. Jal is in the library and his glass repeatedly disappeared. Oh no, I didn't even notice. Sometimes I would like, when I read this, I'm hopeful that I noticed it. Xander's mouth movement does not match at all, but he says werewolf. As he says werewolf to Buffy. Oh, well, we'll watch it afterwards. When Giles and, Bu Giles. Giles and Buffy arrive to the Bronze King, just comes two men pushing Giles' car from. Really? Giles notes he has enough phenobarbital to sedate a small elephant. Phenobarbital is an anti convulsant pento remarkable as a sedative. Oh, yeah, he's just. just <laughs> oh my god, yes! <laughs> I thought it was like. I thought it was a real car. I didn't even think it would be a fake one. But we refers to Kane as mine. Oh, yeah, I was German. Oh, one of Adolf Hitler's titles. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, Mein Führer. Uh, uh, that's not actually how you pronounce it, is it? Xander mentions Robbie the robot, the robot from the 1956 film Forbidden Planet. Huh. Korea says Xander is wearing too much obsession for dorks. S oh my god, that was just a joke. Calvin Klein has a popular canoe called Obsession for Men. Are you. S oh my god, for real? Buffy was on the first TV series to cause quite a storm in the United with numerous fans, sites, and messages. <coughs> Sorry. Boards spring out. This is an launch when Buffy stops in front of a notes board. There's a small note on the board thing all of the Buffy fans at the official website. Really? I didn't notice. When Buffy bends, I was like, what What does this have to do with anything? When Buffy bends Wolf Hunter Revival, it is surprised that she's spending 240. 40 mega newtons per meter square or 37 five pounds per square inch god she's a strong woman i think that's it i hope you guys like the video if you did don't forget to leave a like comment what you think what you thought below subscribe to see more toss <laughs> and i'll see you next time ciao